bananas. B A N A N A S. Bananas. Or as some call them, bananas. Clearly, this is the world's most sophisticated fruit. So perfect in every conceivable way. Well, besides how fast they spoil. Those darn golden curbs, they seem to just absorb all of the mush and cush around them and turn into just. Pardon my French. Bleh! Which got me thinking, why does Donkey Kong have so many bananas in his hoard? Wouldn't they all spoil before he even got the chance to eat them? I mean, it looks like most of them are yellow, the optimal time to partake in the fleshy fruit. So could DK even eat all of those bananas at all, even if he shared them with his buddies? Well, that's what we're going to figure out today on Noggin. Bananas are grown in tropical locations and are in fact part of the diet of many creatures. And boy, oh boy, there are tons of banana facts. The average American eats 27 pounds of the boneless yellow fruit per year. Which may sound like a lot until you consider... The average Ugandan eats 500 pounds of bananas every year. What? Well, I mean, I guess bananas grow over there the way that corn grows here. Here's another banana fact. Bananas are actually classified as an herb or herbicus, meaning that the plant does not contain any wood-like fibers. Huh. I didn't know that DK was such a herbivore. And funnily enough, bananas themselves are classified as berries. So bananas are pretty weird, and DK's bananas are even crazier. In fact, a handful of other theorists have stated that bananas must have magical properties. And who would blame them? Bananas the size of gorillas that never seem to go bad or perish? That is some strong preservation magic if I've ever seen any. But realistically, how long would it take DK to eat that many, in quotes, normal bananas? A week? A month? 47.3453 years? Come to think of it, we don't even know how many bananas there even are. I mean, geez, that's a massive pile! How many do you think there are? Ten. Cool. Well, yes, there are at least ten. Go ahead and go into the comments right now and type your guess for the number of bananas. It's like that game at carnivals where you guess how many gumballs are in the jar. Except now it's bananas in a cave on a screen. Let's use, uh, this banana hoard, since they seem to change size game to game. More on that in a bit. Well, your time is up. I hope you guessed down there. So, now we can use some basic estimations to get a feel for how big his banana hoard actually is. Sorry, I couldn't resist the Dong Kong jokes. I'll attempt to abstain from them for your sake, though. So in many of the games, DK has a cave full of bananas, but a cave is pretty hard to quantify. Thankfully, in a more recent title, Donkey Kong Returns, the bananas are stolen by the Tiki Tikis. Or, well, hypnotized animals that do the bidding of the Tikis. In fact, we can see that they're stealing more than just DK's hoard. They are stealing all of the bananas on the island. Which, of course, means when passing by DK's cave, they gotta steal his bananas too. And even though DK has a rather large cave with shelves and stuff, and it's shown to be overflowing with bananas, it still manages to only take up one of these banana sleds. Which, come to think of it, makes this hoard a similar size to, uh, and I know it's not canon, so you can zip it about that. I know how important Donkey Kong lore is, but it's similar in size to DK's hoard in the Subspace Emissary in Smash Bros. This presumably is DK's entire banana hoard again. The hoard is kind of small these days, at least compared to his SNES days. Back then, his banana hoard was always way large, like bigger than what the screen could show large. So looking at the DK Returns hoard, I feel like this may be his smallest hoard yet. But that just means it's more plausible that he could eat them all, I suppose. So if we assume that his hoard is only this single banana sled, and there's no reason not to assume that, and it actually takes an elephant to pull, then we may be able to get a rough idea of how many nanners this guy's got. An adult bull elephant is able to easily carry five tons. In this case, that's five tons of bananas. And yes, that's via sliding them, not on wheels. That's a lot of nanners. But just eyeballing it here, this pile of bananas, it's about the size of the elephant. So I doubt it's five tons. How many bananas even is five tons? Well, the average banana weighs around 125 grams. Trust me on that one. I weighed like two bananas and, and then I looked it up. 
Thank goodness for Google. So, if one ton is about 907,185 grams, that would be 4,553,925 for 5 tons, divided by 125, we get 36,287.4 bananas. Wow, that would take the average American 13,343.97 years to eat them all at the average rate. Even people in Uganda, the world's most banana-hungry populace, it would take an average person 72.57 years to go through his hoard. But what about a gorilla? Well... Gorillas don't actually eat that many bananas. We'll get back to that. But even if a gorilla ate nothing but bananas, that's still just an insane number. Too much for one ape to hoard. But realistically, we can obviously see that there isn't that many bananas. We need something better and directly next to the bananas to get a good scale. And dodoy, it's the squirrels. We can see one sitting on the top of the pile as it's pulled away. If we just cut him out and count how many squirrels tall this pile is, we can get an estimated height of the pile. Now, we can see that the pile is basically a conical polygon that we can find the volume of, and then get a really, really rough estimate of the bananas. We can see that it's about 5 squirrels tall and about 7 wide. Squirrels on average are 18 centimeters. I'm serious, the things you can google these days. But wait, that's based off of a normal, everyday, average squirrel. What about jungle squirrels? Gotta look, at, look those up. Oh, they don't exist. I guess a lot of animals in DK's jungle don't actually exist in the jungle, so. Yeah, average squirrel. So the volume of a cone is this. H is our height, and R is the radius of the bottom. So respectively, we get 90 centimeters and 63 centimeters. So our volume is about 374,000 centimeters cubed, or 3.74 times 10 to the fifth centimeters cubed. That is also a lot of bananas. Or is it? Recent research papers by ResearchGate have been researching all about bananas. What a job. Where do I apply? And man, oh man, there is a lot of information in this document. But what's important right now is that they found the average volume of a banana fruit. It's about 156 centimeters cubed per fruit. So if we take our 374,000 and divide it by 156 centimeters per fruit, we get a total of 2,397.4 soft yellow boomerangs. Though it should be noted, this is not taking into account all of the empty space between all the bananas, because that would be insane. Insane. That'd be insane to calculate. So just for just so you know, this is the maximum number of bananas that could be in this horde. It's probably a lot less than that because of all that empty space. So you don't need to yell at me in the comments about that one. That would take an average American 24.5 years to eat all of them. That's 660 pounds, man! Still though, that's much, much more reasonable than 5 tons of them. So here we have a really, really rough estimate of how many bananas DK's got. And I mean really rough, but it's still a number we can work with. It's the maximum. So, with this maximum number, could DK, heck, even the whole Kong family, actually eat all of those bananas before they went bad? Most of them looked yellow, so we're talking only like five to seven days until it's just a gross mush. But they were in a cave, so it's probably a little cooler in there. But at the same time, we're also in a jungle, so it's bound to be humid and hot. So it's a toss-up, I guess. Can they eat this banana horde in a five to seven day window? Well, it's time to go over some gorilla facts. An adult male gorilla may consume about 18 kilograms of vegetation per day. About 67% of their diet is fruit, 17% is leaves, seeds and stems, and 3% is termites and caterpillars. Now, even if we say that DK only eats bananas, that's about 40 pounds per day. Whereas silverback gorillas normally eat 60 pounds of food a day to keep up with their muscle mass. That may seem like a lot, but remember they don't eat meat, so their food in general has many fewer calories. And low protein, which is needed to build muscle. Oh, and here's a fun fact. Most gorillas do not need to drink water, as their diet is mainly large leafy greens that contain water. If they do ever need water, they drink it from dew off of plants or from the rain directly. Many gorillas in captivity eat a diet that consists of more vegetation and less fruit intake, as fruit is very high in sugars, and gorillas tend to put on a lot of weight, like humans. It is noted that gorillas in the wild are much more active, so they would, in theory, need more fruits. Exclusively fruits, though? Eh. 
even then DK would probably begin to pack on a few pounds. Acceptable for some DeviantArt phantoms, but not for an action platforming gorilla. Gorillas in the wild are also known to not really ever stop eating if there's food available, but they are smart enough to know not to strip an area of food entirely, and they carefully remove fruits from vegetation so that they will grow back quickly. If given the chance though, many gorillas will gorge themselves on food, so we may be able to stretch DK's eating limit by a bit if he really, really goes at it. But no swimming, swinging, or running for at least 30 minutes after you eat DK, you could drown, even though you can somehow breathe underwater. I, I never got that. So now, I'm sure DK would be unable to eat all of the bananas in his hoard in time before it went bad. By our calculations, it would take him almost 11 days to eat through them. I'm pretty sure by then, they would all be squishy. But now, what about the entire Kong family? Well, Cranky is a very malnourished gorilla, but a gorilla nonetheless. So for the sake of this problem, let's just say that he's still a gorilla. He eats just as much, but his body, because he's dying and old, can't exactly put the banana where it's supposed to go, which is his body. He just, he just poops it out. It looks like banana mush. But what about Diddy Kong? He has a tail, so he's a monkey, not an ape. So that means he isn't DK's real nephew, just adoptive. But, but that's okay. They love each other all the same, maybe even too much. But what is Diddy then? In our research, we found that he's pretty ambiguous. He could be a number of things, but most commonly, many claim that he is a spider monkey, so let's just go with that. A spider monkey is a small, about equally intelligent creature that eats mainly fruit and seeds. In captivity, it's suggested you feed spider monkeys about 4.5 pounds of appropriate food per day. In the wild, it may be more or less, depending on food availability and their activity levels, however. Dixie Kong is a chimp. Being omnivores, they eat both meat and plants. I wonder if she's ever threatened to eat Diddy if he keeps annoying her. Because chimps have been seen eating monkeys, and not rarely or anything, all the time. Better watch out, Diddy. But again, I guess that would be fine in some DeviantArt fandoms. Ew, ew why, why do I keep thinking of that? Most chimps graze all day, so it's pretty hard to say how much they can eat. But some researchers have stated that the average chimp intakes about eight pounds of food a day. So let's go with that. So now, that's about, uh, if I can count real quickly. Uh, yeah, that's about 112.5 pounds of food per day for all of them assuming that Cranky Kong eats about the same as an average gorilla, maybe a little less. Donkey Kong's hoard being about 660 pounds maximum means it would last about 5.8 days, assuming they all ate at a normal pace, meaning if they gorged themselves, they could eat it even quicker. Well then, that's totally reasonable. It's like if you go to the grocery store and buy a week's worth of food. It's just that DK must have had a banana coupon and only likes bananas. And even if Cranky Kong can't eat quite as much anymore, that just means there will be some spoiled leftovers, but only a little bit, and I'm sure we all have a little bit of spoiled leftovers from time to time. After all, often it's pretty good to stock up a bit. What if DK has a dinner party and has little banana slices on toothpicks as hors d'oeuvres for his guests? I love that mental image. So, I'd say it's very possible that the Kong family could eat their entire hoard of bananas before they got really nasty. In fact, depending on when you eat a banana changes how much fiber or sugar you get, so maybe they want mushy nanners. Who knows? But now, you can reasonably know that DK and friends could eat all of those bananas. And that bit of knowledge is magical and super duper important. And until next time, please remember to never stop using your noggin.